Hey guys, Tony Papa here from Pro Media Gear. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to retrofit the Manfrotto ball head with the RC2 clamp and go ahead and put on an Arca clamp, RC60, and retrofit this into an Arca Swiss ball head. Stay tuned. We're here with our 498 RC2 ball head from Manfrotto. It's got the RC2 plate. Now you do have two options when trying to retrofit. One, if you can purchase our C60 clamp at ProMediaGear.com or your local um, store, and then you can actually go ahead and retrofit and put the RC2 plate on the bottom of the clamp, stack it, and then conveniently be able to make your current ball head an archetype ball head, and then go back and forth that way. Let me show you how quick it is. You're going to pop off your plate. I'm going to want the clamp to be on this side. Knowing that this goes in that way, I'm going to go ahead and stack it up and tighten it down. It's that simple. Now the plate for my current RC2 Manfrotto on ball head is mounted to my archetype clamp. Lock it on down. Now I've got an arca clamp on top of my current ball head. I can go ahead and take an L bracket or an accessory like the boomerang that's on my camera and go ahead and put it right on top of my ball head. It's a very simple way to go ahead and change it over. All right, well that's one way to do it. The second way is gonna to be to actually retrofit this C60 clamp on top of my ball head. Here's how we do it. First, I'm going to go ahead and remove, all right, disconnect the RC2 plate. Taking the C60 clamp that I have here, you're going to go ahead and remove the insert. Take a flathead screwdriver and carefully go ahead and break that loose. There is a little bit of Loctite in there, but it will come loose. Once the insert is removed, go ahead and keep that in safe place. As you'll see here, there's a little chamfer in there and a large hole. This is going to be able to go onto your stem. So with the uh, 532 Allen wrench or the Allen key that fits the screw that's in your ball head, hold it securely and go ahead and break that loose. Remove the stem screw and the whole unit should come on off. As you can see now we've got the ball head stem. It's got a groove here that'll hold anti-rotation pins that you may or may not need as well as that stem hole. Next, you can see in my hand, we've got two Manfrotto pins that you can order off of ProMediaGear.com. These pins are going to go in the bottom anti-rotation holes on our clamp and ride on the little groove here to keep the um, clamp from rotating on you. Figure out which way you want your clamp to go and go ahead and just drop the two pins into the holes provided. Next, you're going to line up the two pins with the slot here. Sometimes it's easier to go ahead and come in on from top, line them up, get them in that channel there, flip the unit over. Once it's flipped over, you're going to go ahead and take the screw from the stem that you took out previously. Go ahead and drop it in on there. You can see that. And go ahead and tighten that down. Once it gets all the way in there, make sure you tighten it snugly. And that's it. That's how simple it is. Now that this is snugged up, I have my C60 Archetype clamp on top of my Manfrotto 498 RC2 ready to go shooting. 